Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving through St. Catherine. We're going into Spanish Town. We're on a Spanish Town bypass and we're heading towards Spanish Town. We just went around the roundabout by the Old Harbor Road and we're heading towards Spanish Town, towards the March Pen area from Old Harbor Road. Now the Spanish Town Bypass was built to bypass the town of Spanish Town. So to drive through Spanish Town, especially at the, in the afternoon hours or the early morning hours, is a lot of traffic. So when you have persons trying to drive in and out of Kingston, this is a road you have to use if you're not using one of the highways. And so to have persons having to drive through the town would only add to the traffic congestion in the town and waste a lot of time. So this road was built and it's called the Spanish Town Bypass because you don't have to drive through Spanish Town, you can come on this road instead. And as you can see, even this road has a lot of traffic on it. So can you imagine the traffic if you were trying to go through Spanish Town? And Spanish Town is the third largest town in Jamaica. It has a population of 147,000 people. It's actually the largest town outside of Kingston and St. Andrew. And that town, Spanish town, is very old. Built from in the 1600s or even before. And the road infrastructure there is nothing compared to what Kingston and St. Andrew has. Nothing close. I mean, there are no highways running through Spanish town, put it that way. So you don't have a lot of a lot of info, um, good roads. Some of the worst roads actually. No, we won't go there. But the main road, Burke Road, the last time we drove on it, it needed a little help. And that's a main road for the town. So there's no way the town could manage all of this traffic going through it today. Back in the day, maybe, but not today. So this bypass road was built and you also have the highway, which you can take. And the highway has an exit and entrance for Spanish town. Naturally, it's the third largest town. All right, so we're going to enter Spanish town through, and now on the left is a lot of feeder roads, secondary roads that lead you into Spanish town. So we're going to enter through the Oasis or the March Pen Road area. Oasis is a mall in Spanish town. Alright, so we're going to turn left here onto March Pen Road and that will take us into Spanish Town. If we turn right, we'd go into the March Pen community. Okay, on the left, where you see the KFC sign, that's the Oasis Plaza. On the left, sorry, where you see that juicy beef, that's also the Oasis Plaza. Now we're going into, we're going up to Burke Road, which is probably one of the main roads in Spanish Town. You have Burke Road that leads you in and out of Spanish Town, and you also have Brunswick Avenue that also leads you in and out of Spanish Town. So those are probably the two main roads. Now on the left is a bus park or a taxi park. You can see Spanish Town has a lot of activity, very busy place. And as you can see, the roads are not what you would see in Kingston. So the infrastructure over here definitely isn't as good as the one in Kingston and St. Andrew. So there's no way you could have the traffic going in and out of Kingston going through here anymore. So that's why you have the bypass road. Now straight ahead is Burke Road. If you take the left, you'll go back. Yeah, it will take you back 
down into Spanish Town. If you turn right, that will take you through Spanish Town, but towards the Twickenham Park area where you can exit to go towards Kingston. If you take the left, that will take you back towards the Spanish Town Bypass and the roundabout by Old Harbour Road. Now, because Spanish Town is so old, it has a lot of historic sites. And for instance, the oldest church in Jamaica is the Anglican Church, which is located in Spanish Town. The oldest cast iron bridge in Jamaica, and probably the Caribbean, is in Spanish Town. Okay, on the right is the LOJ Shopping Centre. And it was recently renamed the Sajikor Shopping Centre. Sajikor took over or merged with LOJ. And so all the buildings now are renamed Sajikor. Okay, this is Burke Road. This is what we're talking about. This is a main road in Spanish Town. Main road. Takes you from one end of, uh, if you're coming from Kingston, this is the road. And look at it. This is a disgrace. Look at the road. I think the only road worse than this is the one in St. Thomas. And St. Thomas is a neglected parish. Everybody knows that. But Spanish Town is the fourth largest town in Jamaica. The third largest town in Jamaica. The amount of people that live over here and look at the road. And it has been like this for months. Now what would it take for the people to just fix the road, patch it even temporarily so that people can drive on it properly? But it's there. It's been like that for weeks. Weeks. It's, it's ridiculous. This is not a small town. St. Thomas doesn't really have much in to offer. Let's not go there. But St. Thomas is not as important as Spanish Town. Put it that way. So you can understand the road in Spanish in St. Thomas being like that. Don't get me wrong. It's a disgrace. It's terrible. But you can understand because our resources and whatever. But there is no excuse for Spanish Town to have a road like that. No excuse. It sits squarely on the parish council or the government. Whoever it is responsible for those roads, they need to do a better job. There is no way it is such an inconvenience for people. But let's wait and see what happens. A lot more people. The town of Spanish Town, the town itself, probably has three, four times the population as St. Thomas. That's just to give you an example. The amount of infrastructure in this in, in Spanish Town. All right, well, this is our tour of Spanish Town. Um, leave a message. Let us know what you think about that road in Spanish Town and why it's taking so long to fix it. Straight ahead, you have a lot of the schools in Spanish Town, very large schools. So leave a message in the comment section. All right, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.